In this video, I'm going to show you two digital audio workstations that you can install and run directly from a USB memory stick, flash drive, any external drive. By the end of this video, you'll have two options so you can pick which one is right for you and you'll be able to install it and record, edit and mix on the go. Hey everyone, Joe here. So before we install the first DAW, you will of course first need your external drive or memory stick. I've got a 16 gig USB stick here. Um, 16 gig is fine. Both of these are really small DAWs. Um, they'll fit on even a one gig memory stick, but you do want a little bit of extra space for your projects. So the first DAW is Audacity. So if you head over to audacityteam.org forward slash download, you can download Audacity and we're gonna we're gonna install this directly on the memory stick so you can take it with you. There isn't a special uh, installer for this. You can just click on download Audacity for Windows, Mac or Linux because it's such a simple lightweight piece of software. It's the perfect DAW for carrying on a memory stick uh, and running off even even quite slow PCs. So that'll take you to the download page. Just find um, the one for whichever system you're going to be using your uh, portable DAW on. So if you're going to be using it on a Mac, you go for this the DMG there, or if you're going to be using it on a Windows 64 or 32-bit. Now, if you if you're not sure what what machine you're going to be using it on, if you're going to be carrying your um, your DAW and using it on lots of different machines, you could always install a 32-bit and a 64-bit, but most of you I'm presuming are going to be using the 64-bit. So let's just download the installer. So I've downloaded the installer there to the desktop. We're just going to double click on that. And this is where you just need to pay attention so you don't accidentally install it onto the hard drive of, of the machine you're using. So OK, next that. Next again, and this is where you want to choose your memory stick as the install location. So if you go to Browse, and find your memory stick. I'm going to plug it in now and just reload this and we've got it right there. So you click on your memory stick, OK that, and then you'll see it's got the drive letter for the memory stick. You see it only needs ni about 90 meg of free disk space, so not much at all. And click next. We don't need a desktop shortcut because I'm not even going to be using it on this PC necessarily. So install. It's quite a small piece of software, so it doesn't take too long, but it might take a little bit a little bit longer than it would be to uh, install directly on a hard drive or your SSD uh, if you've got quite a slow memory stick. Now that's installed, we're onto the setup part, and then we're just completing launch Audacity, finish, and now that's loading up directly from the memory sticks. So any recordings you do on Audacity, uh, you can save your sessions um, directly to the memory stick and load them up from any machine. Now if you're not sure the ins and outs of how to use Audacity, I've got a, a full 21 video course. It's free, it's on YouTube. I'll leave a link on the screen in the description now to get you started with recording, editing, mixing, everything. Now we're going to take a look at the second option of Portable DAW. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because we're going to also talk about the pros and cons of using a Portable DAW over um, and it, one that's installed directly on your machine. So head over to your browser again and go to reaper.fm. Now Reaper, I'm giving you this, this option as well because Reaper is a more advanced DAW. It has a lot of built-in um, real-time plugins, which at the moment Audacity doesn't have, doesn't have real-time plugins. Um, it's just a lot more powerful. There's a lot more you can do in terms of editing and macros and things like that. Audacity is completely free. Reaper is free for 60 days and then I believe it's a $60 at time of recording um, fee to, to buy it outright. But it's not much at all if, you wanna, if you're serious about your recording and, and, and mixing and everything. Uh, this, is, this is a great option. But it also works fantastically as a portable installation as well. So we're gonna, gonna try this one now. Download Reaper just at the top there and again find the one that's right. There isn't a specific um, portable installation. You can just download the Windows or Mac one, whichever is you, whichever system you're going to be using it on. So there you'll see you've got the Reaper installer. Let's agree to that and again we want to find our memory stick. So you can see on the memory stick there we've got the Audacity folder. We're just going to click on the root of the memory stick the, the flash drive. And then on this one, you do need to check that it's a portable install. Okay, you didn't have to on Audacity, but you do need to just check that box. Um, oh, I think it wants a folder. Let's give it a folder. There we go. And it will create that folder automatically on 
on the flash drive. So we don't need start menu shortcuts, desktop icons, because we're not using it on this machine. A little bit bigger than Audacity, 130 megs, still very small. Most of the space you're going to be using is for your projects, recordings, and everything. So once that's completed, it will say completed. You can just close that and then run it, make sure it's working. And then because I have some plugins installed on this machine, it's actually just going through those uh, VSTs. If you have VSTs installed on the machine that you're running uh, Reaper from, you'll be able to use those. And then it's going to ask you to select an audio device. Depending on what, what machine you're going to be using on, you're probably going to have to set this um, for each machine. So, Or you can go to Preferences in the File menu and just select whichever audio the, the machine has available. Uh, and then it's going to let you let you use the evaluation for 60 days to, to use it for free. Um, we can just close that or just, just click still evaluating and then eventually you would need to pay if you wanted to continue using it. But it's a great bit of software. Um, and besides, you've got two options there. If you just want to go free, you can download Audacity and carry that with you. So there you have two options of portable DAWs that you can install and carry around with you. The great thing about a portable DAW is, of course, that you can take it wherever you are. So if you want to record at someone else's uh, else's house, a uh, different studio, or you just want to you know, load up a session to show someone, obviously you'd need the same VSTs installed on your on your, your memory stick if you if it relies on VSTs but you can open that from anywhere also all the files are contained within that one folder so it, it makes it very easy to uh, to move the install install to a different drive a different hard drive different flash drive different machine you can just drag the whole thing over you don't need to reinstall it because it's contained it doesn't rely on your registry or anything on, on the PC itself. Bear in mind though that reading from a flash drive is normally slower than reading from your internal drive and also depending on what machine you're using it on that machine could be slower than your, your primary studio PC anyway. Also it's kind of more of a volatile storage option a memory stick you can more easily knock it out and then it, it will just close your whole session um, but you could copy the, the DAW the whole file uh, the whole folder onto whichever machine you're using it on um, so you can run it directly on the machine itself and, and then both of these issues would be uh, less of a problem. So are you going to try any of these DAWs? Do you use one already? Have you tried using it on a flash drive on a portable device? If so, let me know in the comments section below. And for more recording and mixing software tutorials and tips, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.